class. Okay, first, we're gonna learn a little bit of vocabulary. Let's see. Here we have some vocabulary. Vocabulary that we are gonna learn today, okay? So remember that yesterday we were learning that when we have a singular, a singular noun, we use a or an when it's a singular noun. But if it's a plural noun, we use some, okay? So we're gonna uh, uh, review a little bit of that and we're gonna learn new words, okay? Look at the picture. Look at the picture. We're gonna listen to the audio and we're gonna repeat the pronunciation, okay? Just let me find the, the audio because I always forget. Okay, it's page 16. Page 16, exercise 1A. Page 16, lesson C, in the classroom. One, building vocabulary. A, listen and say the words. Which things are in your classroom? A window. A clock, a calendar, a table, a TV, a closet, a door, some workbooks, some chairs, a map, a computer, a board, a CD player, a wastebasket, a desk, some posters, some scissors, some markers, a drawer. Okay, girls. Cambié de lugar la bocina para que no se me olvide. Okay, girls. So. This is new vocabulary, okay? This is new vocabulary that we want to learn. As you can see, these objects, it's more usual to have them in the classroom at school. Right now, we are not at school, right? We are at home. So I want you to listen to the audio again. And now this time, you're gonna check all the things that you have in your home. If you have a window, okay, let's check window. If you have a clock, let's check clock, okay? Listen one more time and check all the things that you have at home, okay? I'm gonna check the things that I have here at home, okay? One more time. Page 16, lesson C, in the classroom. One, building vocabulary. A, listen and say the words. Which things are in your classroom? A window, a clock, a calendar, a table, a TV, a closet, a door, some workbooks, some chairs, a map, a computer, a board, a CD player, a wastebasket, some posters, some scissors, some markers, a drawer. Okay, so these are the things that I have at home. Okay, so what do you have at home? Okay, uh, Aulia, what is in your home? What do you have in your home? Can you tell me all the things that you checked? 
No te oigo. I have. No te oigo, Audi. A window. Ah, what else? Continue. A clock. A calendar. Mm -hmm. Calendar. A table. Mm -hmm. A TV. A closet. A door. A some work book. Mm -hmm. Some chairs. A map. A computer. A board. A CD player. A waster basket. Waste basket. Waste, waste basket. A dex. Huh? Some, uh, some posters. 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 Uh, some uh -huh. scissors. Uh -huh. uh, some mar markers. Adre, adre. Drawer. 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 Okay. Do you have all of these in your home? ¿Tienes todo eso en tu casa? Mm. Sí, casi todo. Uh, do you have a map in your home? Sí. Come on, Audia. <laughs> it was only sí. the things that you have at home, okay? Okay. Do you have a board? ¿Tienes un, ¿tienes un pizarrón en tu casa? Sí, chiquito. Uh, okay, I'm gonna believe you. Okay, okay, I'm gonna believe you. Okay, what about you, Paula? What do you have at home? I got a window. Uh huh. Windows. Mm hmm. TV. Okay. A clock. A clock. A calendar. Some table. Mm hmm. Some Google books. Some chairs. Board. A uh, waste basket. Uh -huh. Some scissors. Uh -huh. Some and a desk. A desk. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> Audia. <laughs> Pay attention, Audia. Pay attention to the class. Okay, so girls, so we know what do we have at home, but the question is, where is everything? What is the location? Where is it located in my home? Oh, for that, we have this. For that, we have this. We have the prepositions of place. Está cargando, espera. We have prepositions of place. Mientras carga. What are the prepositions of place? Are the words that help us say, they, they help us to say where are located, located the things at or at school or at the office or whatever, okay? Here are the prepositions of place that you're gonna use, okay? Uh, let me see, it's loading, okay. There, we have, for example, behind, behind, the ball is behind the box. My television, my television is behind me. Mm -hmm. In front of, in front of, the ball is in front of the box. My computer is in front of me, or I am in front of my computer, okay? Next to, next to, my, my fan, my fan, mi ventilador, is next to me, just like, like right here, because it's too hot here. Between, the ball is between the boxes. The ball is between the boxes. Near, near. The ball is near the box. Um, my window is near me. It's like this, here, near me. Above, above. 
the ball is above the box. My, my stereo here, my stereo is above me. Or my ceiling is above me. Okay, like that. Below, below. The ball is below the box. Below, below. Okay. In, the ball is in the box. Here, I have my back. This is my back. My makeup back. My, my shadows are in my makeup back. Okay, now on. The ball is on the box. My mouse is on my hand. On my hand. Okay? So these prepositions are going to be really useful for you. Okay? So if you want to take a screenshot, you can take a screenshot. Take a screenshot or a photo and you can copy this later. Okay? And I'm going to ask you for a favor, guys. Oh my God, what did I do? Yes. Uh, please copy this. Thank with, you. With the, with the drawings and everything, okay? Si van a copiar esto en su libreta, por favor, háganlo con todo y dibujos, okay? I know, but teacher, we're not kids anymore. I know. We're not in kindergarten. I know. But it's easier to remember. Instead of, instead of writing behind, Mm, in Spanish, atrás. Mm. No, it doesn't help. I know it's may, it may be good, but it's better to remember the word in English. It's better to remember in English. Okay, and if you see the picture, if you see the box and the ball, it's going to be easier for you to remember, okay? So, please copy this with the drawings. Copilo con todos los, con todos los dibujos para que para ustedes sea más fácil relacionar las imágenes con las palabras sin necesidad de traducir, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Entonces, tomen el screenshot, la después las copian y si quieren me las enseñan el lunes, ¿ok? ¿Va? Va, ok. Ahora vamos a ver si nos acordamos, ¿ok? Ok, let's see. Let's go back to the book. Now we have here all of the objects in the classroom, right? Now, look at the activity sets. Look at the pictures. What things are in these places in the classroom above? Complete the chart. Okay, we have number one, we have on the wall. We have number two on the floor. We have under the chairs, in the closet, next to the window and in front of the board. We have six things. Let's start with on the wall. Let me show you what is a wall. This is the wall, guys. This one, this white one, is the wall. Let me show you something, something else. Okay, like that. The mirror is on the wall. My pictures are on the wall. You see, that's my wall. I have pictures on my wall and I have a mirror on my wall, okay? So, now look at the picture here. What else is on the wall? We have a clock. What else? What else do we have on the wall? What else do we have on the wall? A clock, what else? A calendar. A calendar, yes, what else? A TV. Look, a calendar, a TV, good. What else? A window. Mm, yeah, maybe. But in this case, uh, when we say, for example, a window or a, or a door, they are not exactly on the wall. It's like, um, when we're talking about on, is something that is on the surface. Okay, está en la superficie de, de otra, de algo más. Ahí es donde ocupamos la palabra on. En el caso de una puerta o una ventana, mmm, they are not on the surface. Están como que metidas. Entonces ya no aplicaría esa parte. Okay. Eh, ¿Y qué aplicaría entonces el in? Under. 
no, in. No, but, but if you say, for example, like that, mi ventana está en la pared. We don't say that, right? It's like, maybe you can say, the window is next to the clock. Okay. Or the clock is next to the window. Okay, okay. Estamos más the window or the door como una, una, un lugar de referencia, más que para explicar de dónde está. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now, let's continue with number two. A ver, Audia, uh, help me with number two, okay? On the floor. Okay, here we have some examples. We have some umbrellas. ¿Ya viste? This is the umbrella. This is the floor. Like J Lo. On the floor. Ah, do you remember the, the, the song? Está debajo de la. No, 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 no. Está. Not under. It's on the floor. On the floor. Look at the umbrella. Look at the ah, umbrella. Yeah, 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 yeah. Es de. The umbrella. Uh -huh. It's is from of the um, um the, no. uh, no. the what was the basket? No, no, Audia, no, Audia. Estamos aquí en el ejercicio. Estamos en la actividad. Sale la actividad B. Okay. Number two says on the floor. Tenemos la ubicación. Oh, okay. Ahora tú me tienes que decir qué hay en esa ubicación. Okay. Identifica. A qué se está refiriendo, ok? On the floor. The example that we have is some umbrellas. I need you to tell me more. What else is on the floor? Aparte de, de umbrellas, what else? Tell me more. On the floor. Ah, en el piso. En el piso. <laughs> yes, okay. on the floor. Um, what else? What else? Um, the floor. The, the umbrella on the on the floor. The umbrellas, yes. What else? Tell me more examples. What about this? On the on the floor. Floor or floor? Floor. 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 Yes. Okay. But what is the name of this? What is the name of this? What is the On. What is the name of this? This object. What is the name of this? Below. No. No. Okay. Ya tenemos las ubicaciones en la en la actividad audio, okay? Yo lo que te estoy pidiendo son los objetos que están ah, en la okay. okay. Table. Table. Um, what else? Uh, was, was the basket? A waste basket, yes. Waste basket. Yes. Um, what about this? The, um, a desk. A desk, maybe, yes. Mm. Maybe the trash. This one, trash. This is a trash. What about this? CD it? player? No, CD. The, CD, the CD player is not on the floor. Mm. Mm. It's not on the floor. Uh, some chairs? Some chairs are on the floor, yes. Some chairs. Okay, yes. Okay, let's continue with number three, uh, Paula. Number three, please. Uh, under the chairs. What do you have under the chairs? Here we can mention this again. Some backpacks. Some backpacks. Uh -huh. What else? Some notebooks. Some notebooks. Excellent. Yes. And I think that's it, right? Yes, I think that's it. Excellent. Okay, Alia, let's go with you again. Number four. In the closet. What do you see in the closet? This is the closet. In the closet is a TV. No, in the closet. In the closet. A book. 
some books. Yes. We some have books? books? Yes, because it's plural. Some a books. Door? No. No. A computer? No. No, 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 no. The closet. Think about the closet. You open the door to go in the closet. Okay? Yes? Um. Some books, that's it. Some books, just the books. Just the books are in the closet, just that. Okay? Solamente eso está en el, en el closet. Okay, now let's continue with number five, Paula. Next to the window. Next to the window. What do we have next to the window? This is the window. What is next to the window? Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A calendar, yes. A clock. A clock, yes. Maybe TV. A TV, yes, exactly. Yes. A clock, a TV, and a calendar is next to the window. Yes, excellent. Okay. Um, I Claudia, one more time, baby. Number six. In front of the board. Okay. Here is the board. Is it the board? What is in front of the board? ¿Qué es el board? Ah, sí, ya, ya. Um, computer. A computer, ajá. Uh -huh. A CD, CD player. A CD player, yes, exactly. And a desk, too. This is a desk. A desk. Excellent, good. Okay, one more. This is extra, Paula. This is extra. Uh, what is it in the drawer? What is it in the drawer? Some scissors and some markers. Excellent, that's right. Yes. Okay. So, that's it. Okay. Claudia. Claudia. I want See? to read you the, the preposition in, okay? In and on. This is my, my, my cup of Batman. This is my favorite cup. My favorite mug, okay? My, my cell phone is on on the car or on the mark yes my cell phone is on the mark what else my brush is on 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 the surface of the mark okay pero si yo hago esto now the brush is in in the mug you see my cell phone, no cabe. <laughs> my scissors are in my mug. You see? Pero si yo lo pongo sobre la superficie, it's on. In, on. Okay? Let's remember that. Let's remember that. Ahora déjame que todos mis brochas. My brushes, all my brushes and eyeliners are in my mug. My Batman mug is my favorite because I like Batman, yes. Okay, so let's continue guys. Let's continue with this. Now, now we're gonna do an activity girls, okay? I'm going to tell you what's here in my house, what's on my wall. I show you already. On my wall, I have my pictures. I have a mirror. On my wall, I have a clock on my wall. Paula, what's on your wall? Um, my bed. On your wall? On your wall? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Cuadros, ¿cómo se dice? We can call them frames. Frames? Frames, yes. 
Some, oh, perdón. Frames. 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 Like this. Some frames. Some frames. Yes. What else? And so that's it. Okay, good. Uh, Audia, what is on your wall? What is on your wall? Look around you. On your wall. What do you have on your wall? In your house. In your house, Audia. No en el libro. In your house. What's on your wall? Right. Um, um, uh, some chairs. On your wall? En tu, en tu pared? Ah, no. Um, on your wall. What? A clock. A clock, good. What else? Uh, picture? No. ¿Cómo se dice? Pictures. Pinturas o fotos? Uh -huh. uh, fotos. Pictures. 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 Si fueran pinturas, decimos paintings. Paintings. Painting. Okay. Good. Okay. One more. One more. Um, what is in front of you? I'm going to give you my example, okay? In front of me, it's my laptop. My laptop. It's in front of me. My microphone is in front of me. My cell phone is in front of me. And my mirror is in front of me. No me pregunten para qué. Aquí lo tengo nomás. Okay? So, what about you, girls? Paula, what is in front of you? Cell phone. Your cell phone, okay. What else? What do you have in front of you? And... Um, The door. Mm -hmm, good. Excellent. Ventilador, ¿cómo se dice? Perdón. Fan. 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 Your fan. A fan. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Good job. Ali, what is in front of you? A cup. A, a what? Cup. ¿Cómo se dice vaso? Cup. A cup. Good, cup. excellent, a cup. Nice. Yeah. What else? What else, baby? What do you have in front of you? A notebook. A notebook, good. A, a pen. A pen. Is, is someone in front of you? Is there a person in front of you? A laptop. Uh-huh. And a person? Is there a person in front of you? No. <laughs> ah, no. Una persona. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. Let's continue with the, with the class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there. <laughs> the repente no entenders. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, everybody. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> now we have the conversation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there a person in front of you? I know. Okay, now, guys, please look at the picture. Look at this picture here. Look at this picture. Tell me, where are they? At school? At the office, at the park, where? At the school. Yes, they are at school. Okay, let's let's review some vocabulary from here. What is this? What's this? What's this? Can you repeat? What's this? Bird. Board. It's a board, yes, it's board. a board. Estoy, estoy este, marcando aquí en mi, en mi pantalla. No sé si se veas. No. Ah, nomás me ves a mí. No, no. Ok, pues si quieres, para que no veas nomás mi carota, ¿por qué no le, le das ahí donde está la pantalla? ¿Ya ves lo que comparto? Ya, lo que pasa es que sí tenía la pantalla, el dibujo, pero me, lo tenía ampliado, faltaba mini, este, hacer redu, ah. reducir. Perdón. 
reducirlo. Okay, está bien, no te preocupes. Muy bien. Ok. Now, what's this? It's a bag. It's a bag. Good. What's this? Computer. A computer. Good. What's this? Notebook. Um, no, it's a book. It's, it's a, a book. book. Yes, it's a book. It looks like a notebook, right? But no, it's a book. I think. Okay. What about this? A chair. It's a chair. It's a chair. And chair. what about this? I don't see. Uh, books. A notebook. I think there are books. I think there are books. Or maybe some students' papers. I don't know. But yeah. Okay. Okay, girls. Good job. Let's listen to the conversation. And we have a question in this conversation. The question is, what is the teacher looking for? The teacher, what is the teacher looking for? What is that? He's looking. I'm looking for something. Where is it? Oh my God. Where is it? Where is it? The teacher is looking for something. What is he looking for? Let's listen to the audio and you tell me what is the teacher looking for? Okay? It's page. What page is it? I always forget about the page. Hey. Page 17. Page 17. Grammar. Question. Page 17. 2. Building language. A. Listen. What is the teacher looking for? Hello, I'm Mr. Kern. Hi, I'm Paula. Uh, where is Ms. Moore? She's sick today. Oh, no. So, is the grammar test today? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the teacher's book, but where are the students' test papers? Uh, they're in Ms. Moore's desk. Oh, it's locked. Now, where's the key? I don't know. Sorry. Oh, well, no test today, then. Oh, wait. It's right here in my coat pocket. Okay, girls, so... What is the teacher looking for? What is he looking for? Book? The, mm, no, it's not the book. The what key. else? The key is the... Um, okay. The key of computer? No, okay. The key of the desk? Mm -hmm. So let's practice the conversation, okay? Hi, Amairani. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Okay, are you there? Okay, thank you for being here. Okay, let's see. Um, let's practice the conversation, okay, girls? Um, Paula, you're gonna start with number one. Uh, Audia, you're gonna be number two. And Amairani, you're going to be number three, ¿ok? Termina una, luego dos, tres, y volvemos a empezar. ¿Vale? Ok, one, two, three. Okay. Go ahead, Hello. Pa. Hello, I'm Mr. Kern. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Paula. Who wears Miss, Miss Moore? Mm -hmm. She's six today. Hmm? Oh, no. So in grammar test today. How are Hi. Yes, it is okay. So this is the teacher's book. But where are the students' desk papers? Mm -hmm. Oh, they 
en Moors. Dick's Moors Desk. Ajá, Pabla. Oh, it's locked. No. What the... It's locked. Locked. It's locked. Voy yo. Yes, Audia. <laughs> I I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Ana Mayrani. Oh, we know this. Today, then, awake. It's rain here in my coat pocket. My coat pocket. Okay. Good job, everybody. So, what is a coat? This is the coat, this one. Here, this is the coat. This is the coat, this is the shirt, and this is a tie, the coat, the coat. And this is the pocket, this right here, where they put something, it's a pocket, okay? Okay, now girls, he's looking for the student's test papers he's looking for the papers they have some activities that he needs to check and he's looking for that okay now i want you to look at something girls i want you to look at something okay do you remember that we have the contraction instead of saying where is we say where's right? We say where. Instead of saying where is my cell phone, we say where's my cell phone, right? It's a contraction, an abbreviation. But I want you to look at this. It says, it's, it's Paula. No, no, no. Just, just listen to me. Just listen to me, okay? Voy a parar todos sus audios, ¿ok? Voy a parar todos sus audios. Ok. Uh, ok, les estaba diciendo. We have the contraction of where is, that is where's, right? That's an abbreviation. But no, now I want you to look at this. The teacher's book. Right? It says that. The student's papers. Miss Moore's desk. What is that? Is it a contraction? Mm, no. In this case, this is not a contraction. This is the possessive. Possessive. Positive, this is a contraction. It's completely different, okay? Now, let me explain. Let's explain this, okay? Let's explain this. Let's go to the board. Vamos al pizarrón, chicas. Okay, let's go to the board. Okay, now let's explain the positive. The positive form, okay. Positive with apostrophe S and S apostrophe. We're going to learn that today. Let's see. Okay, remember, girls, that we always have the sorry. We have the singular and we have the plural, right? We always have that. We have singular and plural. Yes? Okay. So when we are using the singular, we do something like this. For example, 
Mm, let me show you. We do something like, for example, the, the teacher, the teacher's uh, desk. We do something like this. But what does that mean? Oh, it means that the desk it's a possession of the teacher. Like for example, this. The desk of the teacher, like this. Okay, the desk of the teacher. But instead of saying the desk of the teacher, we say the teacher's desk, okay? This is not this is not common in English. This is common, the teacher's desk, okay? So, let me show you more examples. Let's see another example. Uh, for example, um, let me use the black because it's better. Okay, the student, how many students? Only one, it's singular. The student's uh, exam, like that, no? The, um, the child, only one, child's toy, only one. One, 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 because it's singular, right? Singular, singular, singular. But now, what happened with people like you and me? What happened? Oh, let's do something. Let's do something like this. We have, for example, Audias computer, right? We have Paula's cell phone, right? We have Amairani's um, book. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about possessions. The computer is possession of Audia. The cell phone is possession of Paula. The book is possession of Amairani. But instead of saying all of that, we only say, Audia's computer, Paula's cell phone, Amairani's book. You see? Okay, so what do we do? The only thing that we do is that we add the apostrophe and then we add an S. Apostrophe S, apostrophe S, okay? Let me give you the formula for this. Let me give you the formula for this. Mm, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use the blue, okay? Okay, one more time, the blue. Okay, what is the formula for this? Okay, we have the subject. Who is the subject? The person that possess, see? The person, the student, the teacher, the child, Audia, Paula, Mayrani, you are the subject. Plus, apostrophe S plus the object. This is the formula, okay? Subject, subject, apostrophe S plus object. Always like that, okay? Always like that. Now let's continue with the plural. What is gonna happen with the plural? Let me show you. Okay, now we have the plural, right? Let's see, let me give you some examples in plural. Like for example, plural, uh, the students, students, apostrophe, exams, because it's plural. The, the teachers, desk. I'm gonna change that. The teachers, the teachers keys. 
and the the kids toys okay all of these are plural but what happened here now we have the apostrophe after the s why because all of these words they already end with an s ya terminan con una s por qué porque son plurales so the only thing that we have to do is to add the apostrophe. La más agregamos el apostrophe y estamos servidas, okay? Only with the plural nouns. Only with the plural, okay? Vamos bien hasta aquí. Déjenles pongo la fórmula para este, ¿vale? What is the formula for the plural? The formula for the plural is subject. The subject in plural, of course. Apostrophe plus object. Objects and subjects. There we go. So we have subjects plus apostrophe plus objects. All in plural. You see? Okay. Now, girls. I want you to remember something. Do you remember that in the last class we were talking about regular plurals and irregular plurals? Recuerdan eso? Regular plurals, like for example, student, students, teacher, teachers, kid, kids, family, families. You see? Watch watches those are the regular plurals we only add the s para los regulares plurales regulares solamente agregamos la s verdad and that's it pero qué pasa con los irregular plurals do you remember do you remember that girls qué pasa con ellos Cambia la palabra, ¿no? Exactamente. Cambia la palabra por completo. If I say woman in singular, what is the plural of woman? Women. Women. What is the plural of man? Men. What is the plural of child? Children, right? Yes. What is the plural of person? People. People, okay. Son plurales, sí, son plurales, pero son irregulares porque no terminan en S. S. Entonces, en ese caso, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Chan, chan, chan. We're gonna do the next. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. For example, we can say the children's the children's hospital. The man, I'm sorry, the men's bathroom. The women, the women's uh, uh, dresses, like that. Okay, ¿qué pasó aquí? Como estos, estos, regula estos irregulares, estos este, sustantivos irregulares, como lo es children, men and women, no terminan en S. Entonces, tengo que agregar el apóstrofe y la S también. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Like, for example, the people, people's um, houses. ¿Sí? Pero sigue siendo plural. Sigue siendo plural. Sigue siendo plural. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Remember, these are, uh, let me use this, these are regular plurals and these are irregular 
plurals. Mm -hmm. These are singular nouns. And these are names. Mm -hmm. Like that. Singular nouns and names, we have to add apostrophe S. Plural nouns, regular plural, only apostrophe after the S. Irregular plural, apostrophe S. Okay? Muy bien. Now, let's see. Let's look at this letter, okay? We have the letter S in teacher, teachers. Teachers, um, teachers back. Okay, en este caso, dice teachers back. Teachers back. Primero identificamos. It's singular or plural? Plural. Why? Why is plural? No le puse la apóstrofe. Quiero que ustedes me digan dónde va a ir. Pero quiero que primero me digan. Yo le puse la S. Nada más me falta la apóstrofe. Pero dónde va a ir? Before. Después de la R. Or after. This is. Before. before. Bueno, no está acá, ¿verdad? Es nada más una, una idea. Ah. Se borró. Ahí está. So, we have before and we have after. After, before. Ok. Before. Primero, primero, identifiquemos. Singular o plural? Tell me. Singular o plural? This plural. sentence. Plural. Plural? Why? Why it's plural? Singular. It's singular. ¿Qué me está diciendo? ¿Qué es singular? Yo. Yeah. It's only one back. It's only Yo. one back. Yes, exactly. Muy bien. Entonces, ahora sí, chicas. Where does go the apostrophe? Before the S or after the S? Before. After R. Uh, it goes before the S. Before the S. No nos confundamos con las demás letras, solamente before or after the S. Ok, para que no nos confundamos. Ahora, muy bien. Vamos a hacer otra. Ahora, ¿quién es este? Students. Exams. A ver ahí, chicas. Tell me. The apostrophe goes before or after the S? Before. Before the S? After. It after. goes after the after. S. After. Why? Because this is a plural. plural. It's plural. It's plural because it says exams. Okay, it's plural. Okay, so. Tantito, Miss. Yes. O sea que, este. En la primera, por ejemplo, de teacher, lo que define si es plural o singular es la segunda palabra, ¿no? Porque el no lleva. Ajá, el objeto. El objeto no lleva este que es eh, de varias cosas, ¿no? Exactamente. Yes. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. Ya, ok, gracias. En Thank este you. caso esto lo define, el objeto, sí, sí. ¿vale? Thank you. Ok, y obviamente el contexto de la oración, ¿no? Porque también podemos estar hablando de que un solo teacher tenga varias bolsas, puede ser, pero con eso, si tienes más información, tienes que apoyarte de otra información que tengas en la conversación, en el ejercicio o en el texto, para saber si es singular o plural, ¿ok? Pero en este caso, en este caso específico en esta oración, sí, mi objeto me está diciendo que es singular. Y acá abajo igual, ¿ok? Remember, this is the object and this is the subject. 
subject. Okay? ¿Le quieren tomar screenshot o foto? Le pueden tomar y ya si quieren lo pueden pasar después a sus, a sus libretas. ¿Okay? Ready guys? Can we continue? Yeah? Yes. yeah. Okay, yeah. let's continue with the book now. Let's go with the book. Okay. Ahora sí, chicas. Muy bien. Let's see. We have activity B. Activity B. It says circle the correct words. Use the conversation above to help you. Then ask answer the question with a partner. Okay. With number one, uh, Audia. A ver, número uno, Audia. It's number one or number two. Where's the key or where the key? Where the key? Where the key? ¿Por qué? Why? Ah, no, perdón. Where's. Where? Where's the key? Lleva la S. Yes, it's the contraction. It's the contraction. Uh -huh. Aquí no nos vamos a confundir, ¿eh? En este caso, no estamos hablando de un posesivo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. En este caso es la contracción de where is. En vez de decir where is, we say where's, ¿ok? Muy bien, ok. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué sabemos que no es posesivo? Porque no hay, no hay un sujeto aquí. No hay nadie que, que sea el, el, el que posea el objeto. Tenemos un objeto, pero no dice que hay un dueño. Entonces, no, uh -huh. no se refiere a eso, ¿ok? Muy bien. A ver, este... Eh, Paula, number two. Reproduciendo desde Alan Batman. Where are or where's? The students pay test papers. Test the person. Where are, yes, because it's plural. Where are the students' test paper? Good. Okay, Amairani, number three. Where, what is in the teachers or in the teachers? Number one or number two? Amairani, number one or number two in Sentence number three. Opción uno, opción dos. Uh, opción dos. Mm, why? ¿Qué te está diciendo tu objeto? Singular o plural. Eh, singular. It's singular. So. It's singular. So. Sería la, la one? Yes, it's number one because it's singular. Yes, it's only one teacher. Good. Okay, number four, Audia. Number one or number two? One. One. Why? It's number de persona, no? Care? Or no? Sí. Pero le falta algo, ¿no crees? What is in... Uh... Mr. Kern or Mr. Kern? Oh, Mr. Kern. Mr. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Okay. Ahí está. Muy bien. Excellent. Let's continue with this. Now we have the grammar. We're going to listen to the grammar. Please pay attention to the conversation, okay? And pay attention to the rules. Okay. Let's go one more time to the audio. It's been 17 minutes. Page 17. Two. Building language. A. Listen. Page 17. Three. 
Questions with where, possessive apostrophe S and S apostrophe. Questions with where. Where's the key? I don't know. I don't know. Where are the students' tests? They're in the desk. Possessives. Add apostrophe S to names. Ms. Moore's desk. Add apostrophe S to singular nouns. The teacher's book. The teacher's books. Add apostrophe to plural nouns. The student's books. A, uh, an, versus the. It's in a desk. I don't know which desk. It's in the desk. We know which desk. Okay. So in this case, when we are using uh, the article a, it means that we don't know which desk. It's just one desk, but we don't know specifically which one. But when we use this, the article the, we know, oh, it's in the desk, and we know which one, okay? So the first one is general, and the second one is specific. Okay, girls, now we have another activity. We have activity A. Uh, it says circle the correct, circle is or are and correct the positives. Okay, first, in this activity, we have two tasks to do. We have two things to do. The first thing is that we have to circle where's or where are, where's, where are, where's, where are. ¿Cómo vamos a saberlo? We need to see the singular or plural, okay? Singular or plural. Singular or plural, where is, where are. Then, when we finish that, we have to add the apostrophe in the place that it should go. Uh -huh. Like for example here, number one, it goes before the S. Uh -huh. Now let's see number two. Where Where's the student's test books or where are the student's test books? Where is or where are? Where, where is? Why? Where is? Is where are because it's plural. Okay, aquí les marqué. You have to look, you have to. No, pensé que era la primera. No, ah, okay. No, but the number one is already done. Okay, now. Okay, está bien. Where are? Now, I need to know. Where goes the apostrophe? Before the S or after the S? Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. It goes after because it's plural, right? It goes after. Okay. Terminan las demás, chicas, por favor. Y en un momento lo checamos. 